everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and this is Roads of Oz and on this video we're going to be looking at the, the quad lock mount for the car and so far I've been quite happy with it. So when I first mounted it I took it out of the box and in my haste put it on mounted the phone onto it and ten, about 10 minutes later it fell off and I thought oh here we go another dodgy suction cup wasn't the case remember to take the plastic cover off the um, suction before you try to apply it to the wind the windscreen now this mount also comes with a flat base that you can mount onto your dash but I always choose, I chose to go for the windscreen it has been on there for three months straight and hasn't been an issue hasn't come off hasn't been a problem at all. We're, I've taken it on and off uh, multiple times and I've also mounted the uh, wireless charger. Now, here's why I'm not a fan of the wireless charger. You've still got a cord that goes down to your USB outlet or your cigarette lighter and I really don't see the point. You've still got a cable going down here. If you had it what had this cable wide, like if you had this mount somewhere else and you hid the cable out of sight and had it uh, hardwired or another USB point where it was out of the way, yeah, I could understand it would be a, it'd be a lot neater. So that's probably something I'll look at doing down in the future is getting a auto electrician to run a um, to run a circuit for it and hide it down the back there or hide it behind the dust somehow. It would be useful if you uh, if you're in and out of the car a lot. So if you're a courier that uses their phone as a to record deliveries, which means you're in and out of the car a lot, or you're a sales rep and you're in and out of the car a lot, I can see where the wireless charger makes sense. But in all honesty, I'd just get the USB cable or, or the phone charging cable and plug it into the uh, USB in the cigarette lighter. Realistically, um, I don't I don't see it being worse off. Um, and for what you're paying for it, I just don't see any added value if you're just going to plug this straight into the USB outlet. But everyone's got their own opinion, that's just mine. Other than that, I'm very happy with it. It's easy to take on and off, which I will demonstrate once I stop. Because if I do, while driving, I can be booked. So this bounty kit is much easier than the ones on the motorcycle. It's just a case of twisting it and it comes off. And same as mounting it, it's quite it's quite easy to put straight back on. And I find this a lot easier than the motorbike system. Understand me though, the motorcycle system you want a little more secure than this type of setup. For the simple fact, if it falls off here, it's going to fall on the car on a motorcycle. It could be falling onto the road at 60 kilometres an hour plus. Anyway, overall, yep, bit of a fanboy of quad lock gear. You get what you pay for, and it is very good quality. And what I recommend to everyone, yeah, the mounting bracket, yep, yeah, the wireless charger, well, depends on what sort of use you're having, what you're using your car for. If it's just driving to and from work, no, I don't see any value to it. But if you're going to spend the extra and have the wiring hidden, yep, yeah, I can see the point of it. One of the issues I did have was um, I plugged this into my uh, USB to cigarette, uh, or 12 volt to USB converter and it didn't work properly. I tested it on an actual charger. I had it work and it worked fine, so I'm assuming the USB doesn't supply it enough power for it to function properly. I had it, I had it work once properly for about five minutes, so I'm gonna look at getting a better USB charger for it, a USB port for the 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter. I'm aware Quadlock sells one of these, so I'll probably try their one, even though it's about 25 bucks. I'll give it a go and uh, see if it works better. I'll have to get back to you on that one. I'll update, I'll do an update on uh, Instagram when I eventually get it. But that's pretty much it. All in all, pretty happy with it. Um, would recommend it and um, definitely want to put it in uh, my wife's car if I can convince her to go with the Quadlock system. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, please like, share. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you on the next vid.